हेलो गाइस सो दिस इज़ द कोर्ट फोर्स इज राउंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन एंड दिस इज द सेकंड क्वेश्चन बी कलेक्टिंग गेम सो बेसिकली यू हैव वी हैव गिवन वी आर गिवन एन इंटीजर ए ऑफ एन पॉजिटिव नंबर्स एंड वी आर आल्सो गिवन अ स्कोर एंड इफ माय स्कोर इज ग्रेटर देन एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ द एरे देन वी कैन जस्ट एड दैट एलिमेंट इन आवर स्कोर एंड रिमूव दैट एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द एरे सो for each index i we basically have to output the minimum the maximum number of uh, elements we can remove from the array for a certain scope okay so for for the if our initial score is the uh, like is the element of the array like yeah so first we are given the number of test cases four and after that the number uh, the size of the array which is five and this is array 20 5 1 4 and 2 right so you have to tell if our initial score is 20 then how many elements we can remove from this array so one more thing i should tell you if my score is like greater than the element of the array then we can remove it and add it to our score right so let's start with 20 if our score is 20 first then of course 20 is like greater than all these elements then so we can remove all of these elements from the array so the answer would be 4 because the elements are 4 right except for 20 now let's talk about 5 so for 5 let's see um for if our initial score is 5 then 5 is greater than 1 and it is also greater than 2 so we can just remove these two right 5 plus um 5 plus 3 that would be like 5 that would be 8 and then we can we can just say that we can remove two things right and 4 is also lesser than 5 so we can add this also 8 plus 4 is 12 so 3 right uh, but 12 is like still smaller than 20 so we can't add this thing so we'll next uh, we'll like move to the next element next element is 1 1 is of course smaller than all the elements so we can not like remove any element we can not uh, from the array now let's now get to 4 Since four is small, smaller than uh, four is greater than one and two, so we can add these two elements. Of course, if we'll add these two elements, then the answer would be four, five, six, seven. Seven is now greater than five, so you can add this also. So the answer would be here three, and the total would be five plus seven is twelve, which is still smaller than twenty. So we can't add this one. So the answer would be three. Now let's move on to the next one. That is two. Two is greater than one, so only one. So the answer would be one here, right? If we'll add, then the answer would be three, which is still smaller than four. So like the answer would be one only. So if you have just noticed, so uh, while doing these operations, I have like I have moved on to uh, moved. in ascending order right for example if i am talking about 4 so first i have already like deduced that the element smaller than 4 that would be 1 and 2 are already added it like we they will get added of course right so 4 plus 5 6 7 right 7 would be here only now what is just uh what is just greater than 4 that would be 5 so now i have compared the 7 with 5 if it is like greater then the then it would be the answer would be like added by plus 1 if it is smaller then we will just stop our comparison right there and then and then we'll move to the next element so my first intuition was to first uh, like sort it in in ascending order right so 1 2 4 5 and then 20 after that um if we'll go with like if we'll go in if we'll iterate through the array in ascending order then we'll see that um first one two like 
this is for sure that the answer would always be let's just see about the answer is zero what is two two is one then for four the answer was three for five the answer was also three and for 20 the answer was four so if you will see then yep then you can notice that the answer for every element is always equal to or greater than its index for example one is in the zeroth index so the answer is zero for two two is in first index so the answer is one four the answer is three which is still greater than its index which is two so that is how like this is going so that is for sure now what is the catch the catch here is that uh, for any like what would be yeah for four like for four the sum for one let's talk about start from one the sum is that like the score is one right for if we'll add two then the score would become three here if we'll add four in that the score would become seven now seven is bigger than five so whatever the answer of five will will be that would be the answer of four also right so here it is there is a condition t let's say c condition right because seven is greater than four now let's talk about five so in five what is it yeah um seven plus five is twelve which is smaller than like uh, which is smaller than 20 so there would be no condition and then for 20 it would be 32 right so this is how the things have gone so if i'll go in this manner like from 1 to 20 then first i have to calculate like after coming to 7 and 4 after coming to 7 and 4 now i've just checked that 7 is bigger than 5 then i'll have to store this index here and then go up like go ahead and after that if at some point this condition is like wrong then i'll have to again iterate iterate back to 4 and i have to like make all make the answers of these same let's talk about this if the if here would be instead of 20 it would have been 8 right so then the answer would have been different then 12 is bigger than 8 then here also condition would be true right then uh, the answer of 8 would be what it's the answer of 8 would be its index the index is 4 so but here the condition is true for the like for the uh, for the previous element so here also will write 4 and for this element also the like this condition is true so uh, here also we'll just copy the same answer so the answer would be like this right zero one four 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 so if i'll go from one to eight then i'll have to like go back to eight then come over again from four and i have to like make it equal so why why to just like why to make our why should we do more hard work so i'm going from eight to one i'll just see that if this condition is true then i'll copy this four here and then i'll go to the next one if this condition is again true then like if this condition is again again true then i'll copy again the previous answer and if this condition is not true at any point then i'll print its index right now let me tell tell it to you again very slowly if this condition is not true which which would be in starting the condition is not true then uh, what will we do then we will print print its index right because in like in starting of course it is like less than now so we'll print its index if the condition is by chance like true then we'll copy the previous answer right if this condition is again true right for this and this then we'll again copy the answer if at any point 
इफ द कंडीशन बिकम्स फॉल्स अगेन लाइक दिस इज नॉट ग्रेटर देन फोर मतलब दिस इज नॉट दिस थ्री इज लाइक लेस देन फोर ग्रेटर नॉट ग्रेटर और इक्वल देन फोर देन द आंसर देन द कंडीशन वुड बी फॉल्स एंड वी विल प्रिंट इट्स इंडेक्स एज आंसर एंड हेयर ऑल्सो विल प्रिंट इट्स इंडेक्स सो दैट्स वॉट आई हैव डन इन द कोड see this is a code my code is here yeah so first i have taken the number of the size the size of the string then i have uh, initialized two string declared two arrays a n and b n and this is a total sum of this array like of all the elements so for all the elements like 32 right so for continue uh, yeah sum is here zero so after this uh, in this part i have made two arrays similar to this like i have made two arrays similar to 25142 a and b and here this uh, and here also i have calculated the sum itself also so sum is uh now what else is happening for uh, the condition i have taken as false right in starting after that i have sorted the second array like b and b plus n and then uh, because right i will produce the answers of it right but the but the thing is in but the thing is uh, we have to make the answer according to this array not like in ascending or descending order because if we do it in ascending order the answer would be like this but we want the answer to be like this right let's change it again 20 here na then this would be 3 3 and 4 right i want the answer to be like this according to the given array position array arrangement i don't want it to be in ascending order so what i'll do i'll keep the uh, original one in different array in a n and i'll do my all operations on the b n array okay so for this i have used hashing first i have sorted the b array and then in uh, hashing i have stored all the answers for every element right hashing i have used so for uh, c i am calculating the sum here so the sum is here like 32 now what is here hmm so now for the first element that is 20 the sum would be what 32 minus 20 that would be 12 right and if condition is true which is right so in starting i have told the condition is false so i will what i will store i will store the value of this element like the answer of this element in this map as its index so as i'm going from like from descending to uh, from descending order right but i have sorted the array into ascending one so basically for 20 the answer would be what n n is 5 minus i i is 0 and minus 1 so the answer would be 4 actually right so it is in the fourth index and uh, so i have stored the value of 20 as 4 right and and also i am storing this answer in different uh, like in a different variable in a separate variable also so that if the condition anywhere becomes true then i'll put the same answer uh, in the like in the next element or in the previous element if we are iterating uh, descendingly in the next element if we are uh, iterating ascendingly then in the previous element so now if this sum is greater than the element or equal than the element then the condition becomes true in which case this is 12 right so 12 is less than 20 so the uh, condition is still false now we'll again go to the second where the i would be what yep i is equals to now 1 right and the sum would be 32 Minus uh twenty would what it was twelve now it is um uh, five right so twelve minus five is seven right and then c is again false because of like that c is false 
so we'll go to that this one and we'll print its index which is what is the answer the answer would be three right and now we'll check if the sum is greater than the element c seven is greater than five so the condition here becomes true right so condition is now what true okay now for i is equals to two let's check sum is what sum is now seven minus four is three right and the condition is true so the condition is true then we'll just uh, put the previous value in this map like for in as the answer of this one i've put the uh, like previous value and after that again we'll check the sum if the sum is greater than the uh, element just check the sum is the sum is greater than the element the next element is 4 right and the sum is 3 so um, of course it is false now so here it is false and the condition is again false now let's check for 3 3 is what like 2 3 minus 2 is 1 which is less than 2 so we will just put the value as one right uh, and the condition is again like false here then we'll go for fourth iteration that is the last iteration here and the sum would be zero the element is one right and the condition is uh, false because of like the previous answer so we'll again count like we will output zero here that is the index of one and then uh, that's it will come outside now what i have done is um, now i have i have to now i have the answers for all the elements but i have to uh, output it as the same arrangement as given in the question so for every element in the uh, in the real arrangement that is in a because in b i have done all the operations now but in a it is as the uh, the array is just as it was given in the question so um, like for every element in a for example 20 we will uh, find that element from the map and print its answer that's it and this is the answer thank you now also uh, you can just uh, like for for fun you can check for this element also like just a second one one um yeah one one two four five you can check for this one also this is like fun three four five yeah for this test case if it is going through this test case also like correctly your answer is correct whatever your logic is it will be correct okay ah uh, one more thing here you have seen or uh, like everywhere that i have used t instead of int well, integer so this is why because i have um, like i have uh, declared here a variable for int like i have declared a t which which can t has a like different function it can store the value of 1000 digits also like for it can i can i think it can store um the value up to 10 to the power 16 so that is why i use this one t you can also put it but there is a little bit problem in there also why because this t does not uh, like absolute in absolute functions this t does not work you have to uh, like declare all the variable by integer or long long int only thank you